It's not something they harp on too much with the players, but they do have a lineup full of guys who want to compete on every pitch and who have great bat-to-ball skills. He added, not every team is so lucky to have that kind of makeup. Guys? Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Leading off the inning, C.J. Crone, and they'll need him to get something going here. Two and two. Hey, that's the modern game right now, north-south. Elevate that high fastball and bury stuff in the dirt. Completely different from the east-west we came up playing. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Count to three and two. Byron Buxton waits on deck. 3-2 pitch. Fouled away. Popped him up. Pujols moving to his left. Makes the play one away. And with that, we'll give you a quick look at our current standings in the AL East. Now at the plate, Byron Buxton. He got called out on strikes his last time through. The 2-1. That's ball three. I got three one. Luis Arias is on deck. Popped high in the air. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Now back, second base. Into the box, Luis Arias. He popped oh, out in oh, his yeah. first trip. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. Lifted the other way to left center. Center fielder on the run. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. Twins are set. Welcome back to Target Field as we send it to Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said their ability to get on the attack and chase the opposing starter from the game prior to the fourth inning obviously sets them up nicely for the rest of the game. Now, he just hopes they can keep that same focus at the plate in the middle and late frames, Matt. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. And great extension as he drives this one high in the air and deep the other way. Gone to lead off the inning. So a solo shot here to left center field. Number 18 for him on the campaign as this is now a seven run ball game. At the plate now, Albert Pujols. Skied into straightaway right. Kepler's there for it. One away. Now batter. Ready once again, Omar Vizquel. No hits to this point. The 1-1. One, one. There's a ball ripped toward the gap in left center. He's through first and hustling for second. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. As a hitter, the only feeling better than hitting a bomb is driving one into the gap like that. He hustled out of the box knowing he was guaranteed a double, but I think he had thoughts of maybe a triple if the outfielder hadn't gotten it back in right away. Yeah, there really wasn't any question about that one going for extra bases off the bat. In now, Cal Ripken. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Center fielder going back, and this one is gone. A home run. So it's a two-run shot to right center. Number 18 for him on the campaign as they've pushed this lead up to nine now. To the plate now, Torres. A ball and two strikes now. 
beautifully thrown splitter right there. High 80s down in the zone. Looks like a fastball coming, and then boom, the bottom falls out of it. Terrific pitch. Hit in the air down the right field line. And that'll get down for a base hit. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. When it left his bat, I thought it might squirt foul, but it hugged the line and found its way into the corner. Thought it might be a little bit closer play at second, but he cruised in there with relative ease. Into the box, Aaron Judge. Line towards center field. Buxton is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Absolutely jumped now all that, over that fastball, and it might have been a home run if he had it any elevation under it, but it was basically right at the outfield. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Now to the plate, Jorge Polanco comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Fouled off. The next 3 2. Hit the other way out toward right field. Judges under it. And that's the first out of the inning. Coming to the plate now, Dave Kingman. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. And he's got to build off that last AB. He battled. Usually, when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. Now another one two. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Down go. Kenta Maeda gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. What's play ball? Ready for another shot now. Gary Sanchez. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. It's swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. Gone to lead off the inning. It's a solo shot here for Gary Sanchez. His second of the game as this lead got even wider. Cody Stashak enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Into the box now, Joe Morgan. Oh, looked like he was towing an anchor there, one and two. And the pitch. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. The one-two. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Back goes Kingman, and this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. This has almost been a superhuman performance from this lineup. Ten home runs in the game. When's the last time you can remember a team knocking that many balls out of the park? Yeah, thanks, Matty V. You know what, D-Ro, when the wind's blowing out like it is today, you're going to see a lot of home runs, and that's what we saw. Yeah. Swing and a drive. This one's deep to right, but that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Wow, when you're swinging the bat like he is, you want the game to go to extra so you can get some more ABs. That's his third hit of the game, and his swing just keeps getting better and better. Almost hit that one out of here, but he'll take a double anytime. At the plate, Omar Vizquel lifted in the air out towards left center. Center fielder giving chase. 
He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. And in the end, the tag appears to have been a bluff. He's back to second. Now batter. Now at the plate, Cal Ripken. He went deep for a two-run homer in his previous at-bat. The 1-1 home. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. Two and two the count. Donnie extends nicely, and this ball is driven to right field and deep. A leap, but it's off his glove. And that is off the wall in right field. And he'll pull into second with one away. Boy, and they have not been able to get him out. This is now a five-hit ball game for him here, and those don't come along every day. Standing in now, Torres. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. Center fielder giving chase. He can't get to it. This one's down. He's in at second safely. As also on the play, a run comes across to now score. Hey, they weren't going to keep this guy down for long. That's the ebbs and flows of the baseball season. Bottom line is this guy has bat-to-ball skills. You knew he was going to get hot eventually. Sergio Romo comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Now the three and two pitch. High in the air, carrying well out to deep center. Going back is the center fielder. Gone! So a three-run blast to deep center here is fourth in the ballgame as the blowout continues. You know, talk about having a great day. Four home runs in one game. I would say that's a more than great. That's a spectacular day. In now, Giancarlo Stanton hit the other way out toward right field and he will make the play out there and there are two away now now that the first striding into the box DJ LeMayhew two hits in four attempts to this point one and two to DJ LeMayhew Romo Still playing here at age 38. He's in the midst of his 14th major league season, so I guess you could say baseball has been good to him. Yeah, Matty, no kidding right there. I'll tell you what, the grind to get to. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Kepler looks up. Gone! Well, balls are flying out of here faster than they can throw them across the plate, it seems. That's four home runs in this inning alone. It's times like this when pitchers wonder if maybe they've chosen the wrong profession. Their pitching coaches start wondering too. One and two to the Yankees catcher. Started to go around, but it's a called third strike anyway, and that will retire the side. Big inning here is seven runs cross the plate, and this lead grows even wider. The next twin up, Eddie Rosario. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Here now the 2 2. Is looked at, and the count moves full. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. And it's belted high and deep into right center. Racing back the center fielder. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. Well, they're not there yet, but a solo homer to lead off the inning will do wonders for any team's confidence. We'll see if the next few batters can continue the comeback effort here. 
Just need to string some good at bats together now. To the plate now, CJ Crone. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. He's just rolling right now and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ballgame. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball, a high piece of cheese, swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. Strike two is that's taken on the outside part of the plate. I'll try to pick up that outside corner, but this misses and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Five runs, six hits, and no errors in the ballgame for Minnesota. Three balls and two strikes to the twin center fielder. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat as this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. Count remains full. Once again, a 3-2. Got him. As he just continues to mow down these hitters, 13 strikeouts now. The batter, number two. Riding in once again, Luis Arias. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Oh, and here's a drive. Well hit out to straightaway center. And he will get there as he had to cover a lot of ground to make that play. And Stepping in, Joe Morgan. He went deep last time up. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. It's last that bat is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A.B. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. With that, the Yankees have put their leadoff hitter aboard to start out the inning. Man, talk about having a good game. Like most guys, this would be a good week. Fourth hit of the game. And two of those D Rose round trippers. Yeah, he's going to have a smile on his face for a while here, Dan. These are special nights. You have to enjoy these. These don't come around often, and he is taking full advantage of it. High in the air out to center field. Buxton is right there, one down. Digging in now for the Yankees, Omar Vizquel. He flew out in his last at bat. Now the 2-1 pitch. Swing and a liner. And this is going to find the alley as he might have himself his second double of the ball game. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. The good news for pitchers in this park is that it doesn't give up many home runs. A lot of room in the outfield. Sometimes that's the bad news as well, though, because there's a lot of space. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Not quite out of here. It's off the out-of-town scoreboard. And the second run will score as well. Man, he's been killing it all game long. Those two RBIs bring his total for the game to five, so he's been at his best when it matters most. No doubt making a bid for player of the game. Tyler Duffy enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. At the plate now, Labor Torres. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep. Gone all the way into the upper deck. As a fellow once said, the only park that that ball wouldn't have made it out of is Yellowstone. Everyone knows he's got plenty of thump in his bat, but come on. I'm not sure that ball has even come down yet. Aaron Judge will stand in yet again, and he's looking for history now. We take you back to his last home run. This was his fourth of the ball game, and it needn't be said that five in a game has never been done before. Line drive to center field. Buxton is there, and he has it for the out. Now back, left field, Giancarlo. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. The numbers against Tyler Duffy, he's four for 14. He's also gone down on strikes five times. That gets down, and the inning will continue. And this will bang up against the wall. And he is in to second with a double, his third hit of the night. Now batting. The third base. 
Into the box now, DJ LeMayhew. Swing and a ball hit foul as this will find the seats in right. The 3 2 one more time. Skied into straightaway right. Kepler is there and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. Four runs on five hits, no errors, and a man left. Digging in, Jorge Polanco. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. And it's fouled away. The one two. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And that'll get on through into center field, so he's got himself a leadoff single. Obviously, as a pitcher, he wants to finish what he started. But when you have that pitch count north of 115 pitches, you have to be concerned about his health and the wear and tear on his arm. Might have to take him out of this one really soon. On the season, Kingman is carrying around a batting average in the 320s. That's what you might call potent. His batting average right now certainly signifies that this guy is having a great year. I'm very interested to see how this guy finishes up. And now time is called as a beach ball has made its way out into left field here. Dan, this guy's on fire. I used to say all the time it's about 150 ABs to 200 ABs when you start figuring out what type of season you're going to have. He's obviously in May, and he's on fire. d he's been locked in from day one of this season. It's continuing right now. Anything that is around the strike zone, he feels he can get the barrel to it, and he continues to hit line drives. Max Kepler the next to grab a bat. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Digging in, Miguel Sano. He went down on strikes last time up. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But it bangs off the out-of-town scoreboard. And the second run will score as well. Man, you can't hit it any better than that and keep it in the park. As we take a look here, you can see that it hits high off the wall. Almost a three-run homer, but will have to be content with a two-RBI double. Stepping in now, Eddie Rosario. And he popped him up. LeMahieu trying to get there. He can't get there as it falls in. Hey, guys, I understand that right there. The third base coach has got to hold them up. They're down by a lot of runs right now. No reason to risk getting a guy. comes the Yankee manager now up out of the dugout on his way to the mound and, and it looks as though that's going to be all for his starter now, here tonight he'll leave after an up and down seven and Garrett. two third innings but he stands to be the winning pitcher should this score hold up standing in now CJ Crone fouled away The one two fouled off. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Taylor Rogers enters the game from the pen, and because this is a non save situation, it's evident. Here's Byron Buxton now. 